Hi, this time I'm going to show the autocomplete feature of Padre, the IDE. Uh, as you can see, I'm using version point 0 0.87, which is a development version uh, from the subversion repository. Uh, this is going to be 0 0.88, but if you're using a different version of uh, Padre, then the feature might work slightly differently. So you, have, you can see that there is a file open here. This is one of the files of Padre itself. Uh, if I start typing in uh, some word, for example, register protocol, which is just the uh, name of the subroutine below that, uh, at this point I can uh, select the edit menu where you can see the autocomplete submenu saying it's control space actually. So I could click here with the mouse or uh, if I just escape and go back to the editor I can press control and space and it will autocomplete the word. Obviously it will do anywhere in the file. Now, if I started to, uh, if I press the control uh, space at this point, then I type only four letters, uh, then because there are a couple of words that start with Reggie, uh, it will offer me the choice and then I can uh, pick one of the words and go from there. Uh, similarly, if I start typing a name of a variable, for example this one, then it will offer the, me the names of all the variables that start with $REG. Obviously, some people prefer that this will do actually it will happen actually automatically. So as I type, it will just give me the pop-up and uh, uh, let me pick one of the words. In order for that to work, you have to go to the tools menu and in the preferences select the autocomplete uh, entry, where the first checkbox is autocomplete always while typing. So I check that one, save it, and then now if I start typing re and then it already. Uh, shows me a list of words. If I keep typing, it will just reduce the number of words that might match uh, this beginning. And then I can same way uh, pick one of the words or just keep typing uh, whichever I prefer. Or I just can uh, press escape uh, in order to um, keep typing and not, see, not to see that uh, pop up. Another option here in the preferences, autocomplete, is autocomplete new methods in packages. So let's check that one uh, and save it. Here, if I start typing the name of a subroutine, sub, and then give some name to it, and when I press space here, then it automatically will put uh, the curly braces and uh, the first call uh, to shift to add to the dollar $sub uh, variable. That's what happens in modules. If I switch over here, which is the uh, a script, basically this is the, the main script of Padre and start typing here sub name name doesn't matter the space doesn't make any difference here it doesn't do any auto completion in subroutines for that there is a separate uh, option so here the third one here is auto complete new functions in scripts if I check that one then in the script I can start typing and then when I type when I press the space here and then it will offer me the, the curly braces, put me the curly braces there uh, and put the, 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 the cursor in the right place but it doesn't put uh, the declaration of self because it's, a, it's a, su a subroutine so it's probably there is no such variable. Let's go back to the preferences and uh, see what else are there. So here are the numbers that uh, allow me to control at what point auto-completion will get triggered and that you can change these numbers and how many uh, suggestions will there be and so on. There are two more uh, checkboxes here that are interesting. One of them is autocomplete brackets. So if I check that one and I start typing here, uh, let's say here, yeah, and I put in um, curly braces, then you can't see it, but there they are. It, it automatically put in the closing one. Same happens with square brackets, even you can't really see it because of the, the colors of the highlighter. It's when, when you uh, touch one of the endings of uh, curly braces or square brackets or even uh, parentheses, these work. So this is what happens. Now let's see what happens if I do the same here within the subroutine I typed in and there you have you got uh, the curly braces again. But what happens if uh, you, as some other people, uh, do put in a, a closing uh, curly braces and then before that you start typing a curly brace? Then 
Padre doesn't add you disclosing one because it sees that you already have one. For some pe people that's what they want, other people will prefer to have always to get the closing uh, curly brace and for them there is the other checkbox here, autocomplete, and this is the checkbox that add another closing bracket if there is already one. So in this case if I check this one, if I have the, the curly, uh, the clo closing curly, and now I start an opening one, it still adds the closing one. So it's just a matter of preference. So that's about uh, auto-completion. I uh, hope you will see the next uh, videos as well. See you later.